good morning children okay so i think you have written a test isn't it and uh, almost all the lessons you are all reading and preparing for your next test isn't it children i think you have completed everything i hope you have completed your work isn't it okay children one advice i am giving while watching this video not only this video all the lesson videos all the subject you have to take a test book also what the teacher is teaching during that time please note down it and read the lesson also okay children then only you can understand easily okay so please open your test book while watching the videos okay so today we are having one more lesson children okay uh, last session what we have learned okay uh, it is nada prabhu of yalahanka nayaka of surapara keladi chitradurga yes or no here one thing uh, i think we have learned during the time of chitradurga uh, haider ali he was attacked the chitradurga fort yes or not yes and he was after the death of madakari nayaka Hyder Ali, he was taken the rule of Chitradurga. Not only Chitradurga, Yalahanka, sorry, Keladi and uh, Chitradurga both also. Apart from that, he was uh, extended his empire by defeating other rulers, other small, small Nayakas, Palegaras, Palepattos like that. Children. Okay. So, today we are going to learn one more lesson that is Vodayars of Mysore. Have you seen that Mysore children? If we will think Mysore means which are the imagines you are having. Which are the imagines comes in front of you. Yes, what is that? Chamundi Hills. Yes, in that Chamundi Hills, Chamundi Hills what we have seen? Nandi. Nandi statue, isn't it children? Then, uh, yes, Mysore Zoo. Apart from that, KRS Dam or Brindavan, yes or not? Then Mysore Palace, Jagamona Palace, Lalit Mahal, isn't it children? Apart from that Dasara, yes or not? Now uh, uh, another one month we are having Dasara festivals also, isn't it? Okay, so in Dasara, Ambari, so these are all we will think it of when we will see the Mysore, isn't it? And before that, while learning Mysore, our Karnataka, Mysore division. During the Mysore division, how Mysore came to that name, that also we have learnt, isn't it? Before that it was called Mahishapura or Mahisha Mandala. Yes. So, here in this Mysore, it was ruled by the Vadayars. Those who are the king, for them what we have called? What we have called? Yes, that is Mysuru Vadayars. Okay, children. Not only Mysuru Vadayars, Tipu Sultan and Hyder Ali also, they were ruled here. And British people also, they were ruled here. Okay. Uh, so, uh, some commissioners also ruled in this Mysuru dynasty, children. Okay. So, what we are seeing now Mysuru, it was not like that during the time of 1400. Okay, children. So, in this Mysore Vadayars, they were started their ruling in Mysore dynasty from 1399 up to 1423 they were ruled here children. So in between who are the rulers ruled here, what was happened, what is their achievements, what is their contributions, everything we are going to learn in this lesson children now. Okay. So here Vadayas of Mysore. They were here. Yaduraya and the Krishnaraya. What is that name? Yaduraya and the Krishnaraya. They were the founder and the kings. First kings of the Vadayas of Mysore children. So where we can see Mysore. Where it is? In the. Yes. Where is that? Mysore. In the Karnataka. Southern part of Karnataka. At the. Near to the Kerala border. Yes or not? So, Mysore also, it is there, children. Isn't it? So, in after that, Bengaluru, then Madikeri, and here Kerala, 
and here one side Tamil Nadu part and in between there is a Mysore. Okay. So in this Mysuru it was ruled first uh, Vodayar's dynasty they were the founder Yaduraya and the Krishnaraya they were the founder. They made the capital at Sriranga Patana. Where it is? Sriranga Patana. Then during this time they made their emblem. Still now we are having that emblem only. What is that? Do you know that? Yes, it is a one body, two head. It is a bird. Yes, do you guess? What is that? Ganda Berunda. What is that? Ganda Berunda. It was the emblem of the Mysore Vadayas. Okay. In these Kedraya Krishna Devaraya, they were the founder also and they came from the Dwaraka. They came from the Dwaraka and established here the Mysore dynasty. Okay, children. Here, the first Vadayar, first Vadayar means a prominent king and the first king uh, and a warrior, brave warrior. Uh, that was Ra, what is that? Raja Vadayar. So, Raja Vadayar, he was the first and the prominent king of this dynasty, children. So, during his time, he was re-established, re-established means reconstructed and well-known improvement uh, of the temples, means well-improved the temples, temples already it was there, but he was reconstructed where there is a damage like that and it became famous also. So, for example, uh, Sri Ranga Patana, Sri Ranganatha Temple, Nanjuna, Nanjundeshwara Temple at Nanjanagudu, uh, and Somishwara Temple at uh, Somanathapura and Melukote Chaluvanarayana Swami Temple. So these are all the temple. It was there before only. Uh, but what happened? It was a little bit damaged. So that he was reconstructed and made a famous temple children. Okay. So he was given the more importance. Apart from that, uh, irrigational facilities, he was trying to do that during his period. After the Raja Vadayar, one more king called Dodda Deva Raja Vadayar. Sorry, Dodda Raja Vadayar. After Raja Vadayar means, secondly, Dodda Raja Vadayar, he came to the uh, rule, means he has taken the power. During his time, he was constructed the thousand steps for the uh, climbing to Chamundi Hills. Have you heard the Chamundi Hills? Okay, Chamundeshwari temple. Yes or not? My so we will see that Chamundeshwari temple. In that Chamundeshwari temple, there was a thousand steps was there. The, the thousand steps is there. So in that thousand steps, it was built by the Dodda Raja Vadayar. Okay. After Dodda Raja and uh, inside inside the that uh, Chamundi hills means uh, it is a temple uh, near the temple. There is one more Nandi statue. It was also built by the Dodda Raja Vadayar. After Dodda Raja Vadayar, Chama Raja Vadayar came to the power. Maybe he was the son of the Dodda Raja Vadayar. So, Chama Raja Vadayar came to the power. During his time, uh, because of the administration purpose, some uh, administration purpose uh, means they were divided the administration and uh, uh, brought the Dalvai system. What is that? Dalvai system. Okay, children. In that first Dalvai called Betta Darasu. Okay. After that, after the Chamaraja Vadayar, uh, one more prominent ruler, one more prominent ruler means uh, uh, the famous Chikkadeva Raja Vadayar. What is that? Chikkadeva Raja Vadayar. Betta Darasu after one more uh, Rajas or the king. First Kantirava Narasa Vadayar. What is that? First Kantirava Narasa Vadayar. He took the power of this dynasty. He was very well known and brave warrior. And he was well known in the sword fighting. Kattivarase. What is that? Kattivarase. Sword fighting. Okay children. So during his time he was famous as sword fighting. So that he got the title Ranadhira Kantirava. Who's that? First, Kantirava Narasa Vadayar. Vandane Kantirava Narasa Vadayar. He got the Ranadhira Kantirava title. Why? Because he was famous in sword fighting children. Okay. Apart from that, he was a 
also given the more importance to the agriculture and constructed so many wells and the tanks and the canals. So one of famous canal he was built that that is Bangara Dodda Canal. Bangara Dodda Kalwe. Now it is famous as Bangara Dodda Canal or Bangara Dodda Kalwe. Okay. After Kantirava Narasa Vadayar, one more prominent and the famous Vadayar came to the rule called Chikka Deva Raja Vadayar. During the time of 1673, what is that? 1673, he came to the room. During his time, children, he was uh, brought the some system what is that he brought the some system some system means uh, in his period he brought the system that the system uh, 12 uh, administration he was divided into 12 administration uh, that is called bara baluchi what is that 12 administration he was divided that is called bara baluchi system Apart from that, he made, he constructed the 18 departments that is called Atara Kacheri. What is that? Atara Kacheri. Because of the administration purpose or the discussion, political administration, these are all the purpose. One is financial department, one is education department, one is like that. Department, he was made that 18 departments that is called Atara Kacheri. Apart from that, he was... Uh, because of the uh, irrigational facilities, he was constructed the dam near the Sri Rangapattana. That is, uh, across, it is built uh, near the, sorry, it is built for the Kaveri River children. Yes, he was built across the Kaveri River. Because of the, what he built? He built the dam across the Kaveri River. Because of the, Irrigational facilities nearest to the people. Nearest to the people means surrounding uh, Mandya and the Sri Rangapattana people. Okay, children. So he was given the more importance for the irrigational facilities also or the agriculture. Apart from that, during his time, uh, he was stored, he was kept some money, saved the money in his treasury. That is 9 crores rupees he was saved. For that reason, he got the title Namakoti Narayana. What is that? In Marda, 900 crores rupees. Sorry, 900 crores. He, he was saved the money. So, he got the title Nar, Namakoti Narayana. Okay. But after the death of Chikadeva Raja Vadayar, what was happened? Some other rulers, they were ruled. And the Dalwai system came to the, this rule. But no other prominent uh, king during his time. Uh, second, Kantirava Vadayar came to the rule but he was deaf and dumb. So that in his uh, time, during the second Kantirava Vadayar time, what happened? Uh, Dalwai system, it became famous. In that I already said that first Dalwai called... What is that? Betta Darasu. So he was the first Dalwai. And the second Dalwai, Nanjaraja Gauda or Nanjarajaya. What is that? Nanjarajaya. And the third Dalwai, in that Nanjarajaya, he was having the one army commander called Haider Ali. Have you heard the name of Haider Ali? Yes, Tipu Sultan and Haider Ali. Okay, so after the second Kantirava Vodayar, there were no other prominent ruler. So that who was the Dalwai of the uh, this uh, dynasty, Nanjarajaya, he was having one army called Haider Ali. That Haider Ali, he was taken the power of this Mysore dynasty. Then he was started to extending, expansion his kingdom. I already said that Chitradurga, Keladi, Kodagu, so these are all the region he was defeated. Apart from that, uh, with the Shivaji also, he was started to uh, doing the war. So, what happened here? During the time, British people also, they were started to uh, gaining the um, uh, one, 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 one by one kingdom, isn't it? Uh, they were also having the Carnatic wars with the uh, other kings. So, during this time, what happened? Because of the Hyderali name and 
the fame, British people they got the jealous about the Hyder Ali. So they were started to um, hating the Hyder Ali. Then Hyder Ali he was got he got the angry and started the wars with the British people. So in this war, four war was happened in the Mysore. That is called Anglo Mysore War. So four Anglo Mysore War was started from the Hyder Ali as well as the Tipu Sultan against with the British people children. So these Hyder Ali, he was so very brave Darwai and the army commander. So that he was uh, attacked the seven ring fort at Chitradurga and he defeated uh, Madakari Nayaka and gained the Mad uh, Chitradurga also, isn't it? So, like that he was started to enrich and storing the wealth also. Okay. So, during this time, British people, they were got jealous and started to doing the war with the Hyder Ali. In that, first Anglo-Mysore war was started with the British people and the Hyder Ali. So, here, uh, British people, they got loss. They, they lost their armies, they lost their... Uh, um, wealth, everything, so that uh, British people, they were signed the treaty. What is that treaty? That is called Madras Treaty. What is that? Madras. First Anglo Mysore War was started. Yes, during this time, what was happened? Hyder uh, Ali defeated the British people and British people, they were lost their armies and the wealth. Okay, so in the history, it is called First Anglo Mysore Wars. And in this war, British people they were signed, both of both of means either and the British people they were signed one treaty. Treaty means open the okay. So open that is called Madras Treaty. According to this treaty, my Madras Treaty, so if any any enemies, those who are the enemies. If they were attacking the Hyder Ali fort or the, uh, what is that, uh, British people, then both of them they should help to the one another. Means, if anybody, they, any enemies they were attacked the British people, then Hyder Ali should go and help. If anybody attacked to the Hyder Ali, then British people they should help. But here what was happened, first Anglo Mysore war was ending, okay. Uh, with the treaty of madras treaty but what happened second time maratha people means shivaji during that time maratha people they were attacked to the hyder ali fort during this time british people they were already they were hated this um, hyder ali no so that they didn't come to help to hyder ali so what happened here during that time hyder ali he was got uh, his backbone cancer. So during that time he cannot defeat with the he couldn't defeat with the Marathas as well as the British people. So British people they were taken the chance and they were killed in this battle. Children. This battle uh, became famous as the Second Anglo Mysore War. So during this time what happened? Hi Ali he couldn't defeat with the Marathas as well as the uh, uh, British people so that he was uh, died in this war. And the Hyder Ali, his uh, uh, rule became ended. And during that time, his son, almost in his uh, 12 years only, uh, his son, Tipu Sultan, have you heard the name? Mysore Huli, yes? Tiger of Mysore, isn't it? So, his son, Hyder Ali's son, Tipu Sultan, he came to the throne at in his 12 years age only children. Then, he was continued the third Anglo-Mysore war and the fourth Anglo-Mysore war children. Okay. So, that was the story. So, in this Hyder Ali, he was ruled from 1761 to 1782. Then, in during the time of 1782, his son, Tipu Sultan came to the rule. So, tomorrow we will learn about or in the next class we will learn about more achievements of the Tipu Sultan. 
so here one more thing children during the time of uh, chikadeva raja wadaya chikadeva raja wadaya he what was the contribution we can see in the literature okay uh, achievements already you have seen what is that athara kacheri and he got the namakoti narayana because of he was saved the 900 crore nine crores money isn't it children so uh, he got the navakoti narayana uh, title so here self he was a poet also means literature also he was given the greatest contribution time contribution children that is chikadeva raja binnapam he was written the poem or the literature chikadeva raja wadayar written that chikadeva raja binnapam and geeta gopala these two uh, prominent uh, literature he was written apart from that so many uh, poets they were getting the shelter during his time in that uh, singararya one of the poet he was written mitravinda govinda and tirumalarya he was written chikkadeva raja vijayam means what was the uh, achievements of the chikkadeva raja wadaya that uh, tirumalarya he was written about the chikkadeva raja uh, vijayam okay children then uh, one more lakshmisha poet kannada poet he was written the jaimini bharata and sanchi vannamma also during his time only sanchi vannamma she was written the hadivadeya dharma okay children so this was the major attraction or the major poets they were given the greatest contributions of literature also after that second kantirava narasaraja wadayar then the narasaraja wadayar what what happened dalwai system was started then uh, hyder ali came to the power after the second anglo mysore war he was died and his son tipu sultan came to the throne so in the next class we will learn more children so you have to while you are watching this video please open the textbook main main important things underline it then go through the textbook and read the lesson any doubt you can whatsapp me children thank you